in order to connect with this population, and there's not much time because the classes are typically shorter than uh, regular yoga classes of uh, 75 or 90 minutes. So within an hour's time, I want to establish a relationship. I don't spend much time meditating at all, maybe occasionally. I tell them what my intention is to equip them with things they can do on their own after they leave the program. I find out what uh, physical constraints people have. I ask them to introduce themselves. Typically, I won't do that in, in a large uh, public class or a, a another setting. I don't do as many or hardly any hands-on adjustments. It's a sensitive issue with any uh, trauma population. This is not a, I'll say, not a heightened trauma situation, but I'm, I'm cautious not to intrude on people's spaces. Uh, occasionally, I'll, I will do some adjustments with their permission. And usually the adjustment I do, uh, a little assist and a twist feels really good and, and people like it. And almost everybody agrees to do that. And if they don't, uh, they don't. So what I want to do is um, make it safe for them and uh, go through what I think would work for them. And, and it, there's a, uh, a bit of a routine to it, a regularity of routine. So uh, I'll preface that it's non-traditional what I'm going to do. And it, in any yoga setting, this will be a bit non-traditional because my focus is on somatics at the beginning in loosening connective tissue in opening up uh, neural pathways for energy, energy to flow in the body. So a good part of the first session is supine, is on the floor, it's not working against gravity, it's movements to enhance people's awareness of what they're feeling inside their bodies. It's not to include a repertoire, a fixed repertoire of poses, even the common yoga poses, but more for people to feel relaxed, loosened. And then probably the second session of the week is uh, I come into more standing poses. You could say that it's a, a process of unlearning habituated movements that don't contribute to their health. And that could be how they fold over, how they bend, how they twist, how they move, grounding them more as a baseline is what I'm trying to accomplish. For this population, slowing down, I think, is far more important than speeding up. I think uh, giving people occasion to rest, part of what I do, not every time, I do body scans, I, I do uh, quiet poses so that they can be in the pose to heighten their awareness of what's, what they're feeling in their bodies. And I think that's far more important than building up to some exotic pose. Brainline is powered in part by Wounded Warrior Project to honor and empower post 9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families. 